My friends, I'm sure you've noticed that I've been struggling a bit lately during services. Struggling musically, struggling sometimes even with the words. The longer the pandemic lingers, the harder I'm finding it to concentrate. And I suspect I'm not alone. Each of us is struggling in our own unique ways, but knowing that we're not struggling alone can bring us both comfort and strength. We Jews are no strangers to the struggle. In fact, it is in this week's Torah portion, Vayishlach, that we are witness to the struggle that gives our people its name. In the Parsha, Jacob returns home after 20 years. He is afraid that Esau still wants to kill him, having deceived him and stolen his birthright and his father's blessing. He divides his camp and his household, sends them to the other side of the Yabok River to await the dawn. He prays and he falls asleep. He dreams that he wrestles an Ish. Is it a man, an angel, is it God? Perhaps he's wrestling with his own conscience. Dawn breaks and the Ish tries to leave. Before Jacob lets him go, he extracts a blessing from him and is renamed Yisrael meaning one who struggles with God. Jacob later receives the name again, this time from God's own voice and not through an ish. And we take our name from him. We are B'nai Yisrael, the children of Israel, not the children of Abraham or the children of Moses or the children of anyone else. We are the people who struggle because Judaism finds joy and meaning in the immortal questions of life. I hope you'll join me this evening for Shabbat worship at 6.45 p.m. when I will share with you yet another struggle that I've been experiencing lately as we approach the winter holiday season. Shabbat Shalom.